back in 2001, I stayed here when I was 19. I just came and uh, worked here uh, and lived in different places. I lived in Kinley House, Hostel, and Air Square. I worked in Air Square, sold cell phones at the old Aircom. And, uh, well, I tried to sell cell phones. I didn't really sell that many of them. But, yeah, it was amazing. I could only stay for four months because of my work permit as an American, but uh, I've never really lived anywhere else. It's like been Wisconsin, Galway, and then I lived in North Carolina for, for one year. So other than that, you know, I always end up having to go back to Wisconsin, but Galway was really special to me, and it, it's been a really long time since I've been back, so I took a really long walk yesterday, and it's crazy how, you know, it's changed. I've heard a lot of it, you know, the town has changed and stuff, but the, the parts that I remember are still really the same, and I really adore this, this town for sure. I think Flume's what gave me the courage to be able to be on my own because I was like, you need, well, and it kind of told me you need to be alone to get these ideas out. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't thinking. I think the lack of thinking is why you're able to do things that you want to do, and I wanted to do that part, so it's kind of like I didn't really, can't really explain why it happened. You know, you keep living your life after you write the songs, and I think I did go through a big healing process, but. You know, with with all this stuff, traveling the world and being in the band and being away from home, which I've never been away from home before, all this time, a whole new set of demons and dangers can come about. And like, I think the songs have helped me stay grounded more than anything. When I was making it, I didn't, what was really important, I think, is that I didn't have an end goal. You know, I didn't want to, I thought, Maybe I'd be lucky enough to get on a small label, or I just put it out myself, which is what I did. You know, I put it out myself, uh, made 500 copies of it, uh, and then it just sort of, it really did avalanche from from that point. So I don't, I haven't really woken up since that happened. But I mean, basically, it was just a record for what I needed to hear, and that's, I guess, my goal in the future is just to be able to make a record that. I need to hear and that hopefully other people will be into. Yeah. The city gave me so much, I guess, as a young guy, and yeah, it'll be cool, it'll be special. Hey, I'm doing a really important interview over here. Chill it out. I run a type ship.